God lives and works today, and He reveals Himself to us in many different ways. Today's meditation by Basilea Schlink, A Father's Love, tells us about one of these special plans He has thought up to show us His fatherly love. In James 5.11 we read, The Lord is compassionate and merciful. This verse applies to the life of Job. The Lord pitied Job. God as the Heavenly Father suffered with His servant when He had to go through such difficult trials. Whoever bears the sufferings of another seeks ways to prepare a good ending. So at the end, God bestowed upon Job more than he had had before. This is an eternal law of the love of God and His relationships to His chosen ones. Therefore, wait for the gracious end of your suffering, and you will experience that God will do more good things for you than before. Whoever wants to confirm what a loving Father we have, picture in spirit the city of God. Out of great love, God has prepared a heavenly creation full of glory and perfect beauty to be the eternal dwelling place of those who belong to Him. Yes, the Father wants to see His children happy. That's why He has prepared heaven, the city of God, for their eternal home where they can live forever in bliss. Therefore, in days of suffering, think of the love of the Father, which has prepared a heaven full of glory. The Father Himself has promised that He will wipe away every tear from our eyes. He will take us into His arms and will embrace us, just as Jesus depicted it in the parable of the prodigal son. After this slight momentary affliction, He wants to give us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Without end, our Father wants to repay us for our sufferings. Full of joy, He wants to show us the harvest of our days on earth. Towards this goal, our thoughts should be directed. Then our greatest sufferings will seem small to us. You have been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.